And what's up dudes, Angry Grandpa with another video. Today we're gonna talk about tanks that we can use during a battle pass uh, event to do the missions with. But I'm just gonna tell their names. By the way, I'm not gonna go through commanders, crew stats, retrofits or not. Some tanks in my garage don't need retrofits, so I don't have any retrofits on them. I'm not gonna go why did I choose this tank and so on. It's because I like to play with those tanks. Enjoy. At tier 5 we go first with AVs, I like to play with AMX30 DCA, BMD2, BVPM ATA and XM247 Sergeant York. Why? Well, mostly of these tanks are quite versatile. Versatile when I speak like about BVPM ATA, which you can change its turret and preferential style of gameplay with within a few seconds of clicks you can have the only AV at tier 5 shooting just 80 GMs and do some missions or you can use BMD2 with 80 squad or being very aggressive with AMX13 DCA or with XM247 Sergeant York. As for MBTs I go with M60A2, Object 79, T72 AV Ash and tier 85 M1 Bisonal. The most known one that I play and do missions nowadays it is with the tier 85 M1 Bisonal just because the fact it has a high reloading time DPM, good armor, maneuverability and so on, but sometimes I have to use the M60A2 Starship or sometimes the T72AV. I have to do some missions fast, I can go with these tanks and do a lot of damage. As for the TD tanks, I have just IT-1, a tank destroyer on a MBT chassis, it has ATGM launcher and you can play a very close proximity uh, to the targets uh, you don't have to be scared you can play very aggressive and obviously you need some skill to play with this tank it's not so easy at tier 6 i go with bvp m2 scz shakal which uh, is one of my favorite ones and saber also with those tanks you can play very aggressive different styles do a lot of support uh, and use the at squad Tier 6 we have uh, MBT-70, Bagage 7A, Bagage 7C and Shongun 915. Mostly of the tanks are premiums but guess what they are totally worth it especially when you want to play let's say aggressive Bagage 7A or Bagage 7C it's up to your preferential style or you can play both uh, for a long range let's say with Shongun or you can play first line or second line support something like this with mbt 70 but beware with some tanks you can reload faster and with other tanks you can reload so fast tier 6 like tanks i play with expeditionary tank or stingray mostly of the time i play with stingray just because of the tank's gun but also with expeditionary tank because it's fast very maneuverable and it doesn't have so many weak spots like you can cover be behind some dead tanks and you can stick this uh, important gun outside and kill some tanks very easily. Tier 6 tank destroyers I go with C-13 Tua or Object 387 or Typhoon 2. Mostly of the times I go with C-13 Tua just because it has 80 squad or Typhoon 2 when I need to do long range uh, sniping or just sniping or support and even sporting tanks. At tier 7 we have BMD 2M. It's one of the best tier 7 tanks AVs in my opinion just because of the fact that it's small compact agile ATGM launchers machine gun it's very versatile you can sneak behind targets and you can instantly kill them at tier 7 we have uh, at tier 7 we have plenty of tanks let's go with challenger 1 k1a1 leclerc prototype m1a1 storm abrams t80u metal rat skin and t90 these are the tanks that I like to play with them. As I said, some of them have retrofits, some of them don't. That's because the tanks is good as it is. And obviously you can improve that with retrofits, but sometimes some tanks don't need that. Uh, it's just up to you. I mostly use it is the M1A1 Storm uh, because it has also an, uh, an additional, you know, dozer blade in the front and you can do plenty of damage with ramming and so on. Uh, T8U also for the heat TGM missions. Or Leclerc Proto for some sniping or close combat, whatever you want to call it. Like as for the rest of them, are quite fine, and you can do some sneaky shots. Uh, they're relatively fine. 
This is the only TO7 artillery that I really like to play with, Palmarium. It reminds me of E100, but this is a good artillery and I like to play with it. Uh, very aggressive uh, and uh, it's very useful in doing missions. At TO7 light tank is Stingray. Actually, this is the only light tank that I like to play with. Despite other premiums, this is the only tank that I like to play with. Tier 7 tank destroyers uh, B1 Centauro and Zubor PSP. Why? Because with Centauri you can play normally as you play with let's say Stingray. But with Super PSP you have two options. Either ATGM launcher or the main gun which you can play also uh, as a normal tank destroyer as you see. Tier 8 we go with Bradley, Griffin 50mm, Stalker and VB Air. These are my favorite tanks at tier 8 as AV. Why? Because 1. With VBR I can play very aggressive, close combat, sneaking behind targets and lines. Starker more like a support. You can play also aggressive but you kinda have to give 50-50 with your health and so on. It's not so nice. Uh, Griffin has 80 squad and a good, very good DPM among all the tanks if you put it just on the machine gun and so on. And penetration is quite great. Bradley FV is one of those bulkier tanks that you can play as an AV and even as a light tank if you want to play even though it is an AV. And that's why it's one of my favorite tanks. MBTs. MBT tanks at tier 8. I use T98 Bullock, Challenger 1 Falcon or VT4 for some of you. Uh, VT4 why? Because it's on my playstyle. Uh, fast, good reloading, even though it doesn't have such a good armor, I like the way the tank performs. Challenger 1 Falcon is premium, yeah, but it helps you a lot by doing missions because it has a clip which it performs more shots. Yeah, it has a long reload, but it's a decent reload time. And Burlag, because it's one of my newest additions, uh, some of you may have, uh, it's a really good tank and it can do a lot of damage and support. Plus, it can take a lot of beating and can still be alive and uh, help the team. And that's why I use this tank. The only light tank that I like at tier 8 it is the BMP 3M Dragoon 125. It's just because this tank is freaking good. You have 80 squad that you can use while doing missions and challenges but also it has a really good gun. ATGMs if you want to use or APFSDS prefer to use just hit because it's much better with this tank. At tier 8 as tank destroyers we have BMPT 2000, Bradley AAWSH, Chrysanthema S M1128, Ramka 99, Sprut SD and VCAC Mephisto. If I have a mixture of damage and let's say with ATGM I can go either with Ramka or Mephisto uh, or BMPT 2000 but if I have to do just some time missions and I want to get outside of the boredom that sometimes you can bump into this game I go with Bradley or with Striker and it's it's quite fun to have a multitude of tanks that you can enjoy while doing missions. Tier 9, here we have Crab, Hunter AV and T249 Vigilante. Now these are the AVs that I like to play with them. Crab reminds me of VBL, you know, Hunter AV reminds me of other tanks and obviously it has AT squad that you can use in the missions and T249 of AMX 13 DCA. The moment you understand this tank especially, this tank, you can do a lot of damage and support. Hunter AV is also great. Uh, it's quite big but it has a good armor and it has 80 squad crab you can play also aggressive first line position sneaking behind targets at tier 9 we have t90 ms nakitka which i like to play with him even though i don't have any retrofits the tank is perfect as it is and can be improved and the other one is the ttb with the yom's viking skin which Amazingly, mostly of the people in the game hates this tank. If you know to play with this tank, it's gonna be very fun to play with him. Uh, you have to take in consideration his reload time and you know to know the maps and where to go on different maps. Uh, not on special maps, on every map, on every map and so on. At tier 9, uh, SPGs, all of them I like. Uh, MSTSS. PLZ05 and PZH2000. In the past, I didn't like to play with PZH2000, but nowadays I really like to play with him more than with PLZ05. Every tank is suitable for different missions, let's say. But if you want to play PvE matches, 
hardcore, you can play with all of them. Uh, which is much more suitable, PZ05. If you want to do missions, you either go with MSTS or with PZH2000, which PZH2000 is much more suitable. Like tanks, I have just two tanks, the WPB Anders uh, with the skin Mist Walker and ZTQ15. Favorite tank that I like to play with, it is with ZTQ15 because I play very, very aggressive with this tank. Even though I take some shots sometimes, I can still come out and killing that enemy because he reloads in 3.19 seconds and it can be improved actually with some better retrofits. But I like the way the tank performs and also with Anders because this turret uh, cannot take so much beating and can survive a lot of shots. Tier 9, 10 destroyers, I like to play with B1 Draco that has been recently upgraded, buffed, it can do a lot of damage. BMPT-72, the Terminator 2, which is very versatile, can be used as in uh, matches of tier 10. M113 Hellfire is also a great tank when it comes to ATGMs, you can do some missions with them. QN506 also, uh, it's a good tank, plus it has the Lieutenant Recon missile that it helps you to spot enemies. And in, in special operations, missions, I don't know, contracts, sometimes this tank is very useful to do that. And Striker Adats, which it has also Adats ATGMs and even AP rounds that can demolish an enemy very, very fast uh, if you know how to play with uh, the Striker platform. At tier 10, we have the Cornet EM. This tank, uh, it's my favorite AV to play with at tier 10. You can either use one ATGM launcher or both of them, and you can do a lot of damage. It's very maneuverable, very fast, not so huge uh, as a target, not so big as a health points, but it's a very good tank uh, to put it as an AV. And here we go with MBTs, KTTB, Challenger 2 ATDU, Leclerc T4, Object 195, Object 490, STRV 2000, T14 Armata, Type 10, and the last one, XM183. And these are all the tanks that I like to play with them, especially when it comes to certain conditions, missions, and challenges. If I want to say um, what tank I use when I have to do miss missions or damages with heat ammo, I will go with either XM183 or KTTB or even with T14 Armata and even let's say with type 10 if i want to do normal damage assistance first line or yeah first line i can go with xm 3 type 10 t14 strv 2000 object 490 object 195 but if i want to let's have fun and doing missions blocking damage and so on i can go with object 490 challenger 2 it was the first mbt that i've got it uh non-premium progressive and lately i've changed my commander stats skills and so on and it does quite good but you have to hit the enemy in the weak spots to trigger that blow up otherwise you cannot do that and they're very important tanks uh, let's say if you don't have the premium ones you can still do a lot of things with the non-premium ones light tanks is just the pl01 with galactic warp and um, it looks quite impressive and I really like to play with this tank doing a lot of missions. It's very fun to play with them. PDs. And I have three of them. The Gao, MGM and T15 Armata. Uh, Gao it is mostly for um, long ranges, cover, support, sudden strikes and so on. You can do a lot of damage and if you know how to use this change of fire mode ability, it will help you quite a lot in matches. MGM-166, this is a tank that requires a lot of skill on how to play with this tank and is very suitable for some missions, uh, especially if you want to do damage missions or long range damage, like over 300 meters damage uh, and so on. So this tank is very useful. And you can do also all of these with T-15 Armata if you don't have any of these tanks below. Because with T-15 Armata nowadays that's been buffed and it's strongly buffed. Uh, plus it can give you a lot of abilities and opportunities on which which of these abilities you can use this tank nowadays is the godfather of tank destroyers in the game even though even though i don't have kinsal to put it out this still it's one of my favorite tanks and when i'm gonna get kinsal because right now i am at level 59 amazingly 
I will still have uh, the tank and I think this tank is much better when it comes to much better armor, much better turret. Obviously we can Zali comes up to more uh, damage per minute because it has a different gun, different machine gun. And the least enjoyable can be MGM 166 if you don't know how to play with this tank. But obviously Gao and T-15 Armata can be very very useful in doing missions, challenges. Thanks for watching guys, tell me in the comment section in which tanks do you enjoy doing missions despite any tire. And I'll catch you next time in the next episode.